If you are a personal injury lawyer looking to run Google ads for your firm, this video is definitely one to keep watching. I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about running Google ads, pay-per-click advertising for your personal injury law firm. I have worked with many law firms in the past and currently, a lot of them use um, you know, tools, not tools, but services like Avo and other shared lead sources. The problem with that is they're shared. They're not exclusive to you. Now, when you're running Google ads or pay-per-click advertising for yourself, those leads are exclusive, so you're not fighting for them. Yes, you'll still need to follow up with them and you'll still need to do your due diligence to convert them to retain, but essentially, Running Google Ads is the highest form of intent, capturing that intent for the highest quality type of leads that could come from um, any form of advertising more than any type of awareness-based campaign like billboards or Facebook, Instagram, Google Ads pay-per-click in general is going to drive you the highest level of intent. But the dangerous thing about personal injury is it is very, very, very expensive. I'm sure that's probably why you're watching this video too, because you don't have as much budget to be wasting and you really need to kind of cut corners to figure out how you could be as efficient as possible. Uh, so this video, I'm going to take you through everything that you need to know and everything that I know from a high level on how to run personal injury lawyer campaigns. Uh, I run them uh, currently. It is a very difficult, probably the most difficult type of lead gen campaign that I've ever run. Um, and I wanted to walk you through everything that I know. I wish I had this video when I was starting out. I'm going to be sharing as much value as possible. Um, and if you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm the founder of Level 28 Media, and I help law firms generate uh, leads through Google Ads, pay-per-click advertising. So if you are interested, uh, feel free to reach out for a consultation. I'm happy to either audit your campaign or we can talk about um, actual month-to-month -month management, and I can manage everything for a done-for-you type of service. Now, let's go ahead and take you through everything that you need to know about running Google ads for personal injury lawyers. So I'll take you through that right now. First thing here that I really wanted to hone in on is your ad budget. If you do not have a sufficient ad budget, you do not even want to be playing here. And the way to determine the ad budget, I actually have a video. I can link it in the description below on how to determine your ad budget. But more than ever, especially with personal injury, you need a sufficient ad budget. Um, and it's going to vary per market. I've seen budgets as high as in the six figures a month mark. Um, that's in very, very saturated markets. Um, and then I've seen client, uh, I've seen other budgets in the, you know, 50,000, uh, 30,000 range. Uh, but it's definitely not going to be anything like south of $5,000 unless you're in a, a very small market that doesn't have as much competition. Um, so if you're in a mid market to, you know, large market, definitely expect to budget in a very, um, in a, in a very, uh, what's the word, um, aggressive way in order to even break in, especially if you're brand new. If you've been running Google ads, you know how much you really should be spending in order to be getting results. If not, feel free to reach out and I can ha happily help you do some forecasting um, and help you determine what your, you know, budget should be. But really what I'm trying to drive home is you need to go big or go home because with personal injury, the clicks are as expensive as a thousand dollars. I've seen it even go higher than a thousand. It's very scary if you don't put any bid limits or constraints on Google, it can really spend fast. It's going to go through your budget like turning on the water faucet and letting the water just drain out. So if you don't know what you're doing, this is it's very dangerous. Um, but the first, the key thing here is having a sufficient budget. If you're not funding enough, it's like driving a car. I've mentioned this on my channel, driving a car with barely anything in your tank. You might go somewhere, but you're not gonna go very far. And then you're eventually gonna run out. So you need to make sure that you're funding a sufficient budget. You're either in or you're out. Um, don't, don't have this mindset, especially if you're starting with PPC, like, oh, I'm just going to test the waters. Maybe I'll just do $100 a day and just see what happens. 
If you're not going to be funding enough to be even able to be competitive and see results, don't even waste your money. Um, and this is not to say that $100 a day is not going to be enough for you. It just depends on your market, but that is kind of on the low end um, based off of what I've seen. So keep that in mind. If you don't have enough budget and you're not willing to fund enough budget in order to, to see sufficient results, don't even bother. The next thing that I wanted to touch on is the problem with PI and PPC. The problem with PI is there's a lot of different... PI is a practice area in itself, but there's a lot of different subcategories under PI. There's car accidents, motorcycle accidents, there's um, wrongful death, medical malpractice, dog bites, shootings. There's so many ways that someone could be getting injured. And bidding on keywords like personal injury law firm, personal injury attorney, personal injury lawyer, while that can drive you uh, leads and going after that type of intent, the problem is separating the gold from the fake gold, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, the challenge is someone that maybe got, I don't know, they maybe got hit on a, you know, a bus. Maybe they got slapped on the bus by someone and then they're calling a personal injury lawyer to see if they can get sued for any damages because they got injured. Um, uh, most personal injury lawyers aren't going to take that case um, because it's not a catastrophic injury. Um, and people think that a lot of people think that they are entitled to some type of um, payment or compensation just, you know, based off of, you know, the situation that they're in. But a lot of times they don't really have a true case. Um, a lot of personal injury attorneys and, you know, especially you're watching this, you know that you don't want to be taking on something unless it's more on the catastrophic end. Um, and most people that are looking for personal injury, I'm not saying, mo I'm not saying every, but I'm saying there's a lot that think that they might be entitled to, you know, um, you know, having a case, but it's not something that a typical personal injury lawyer would be taking on because it's not truly a case. So where I'm trying to go with this is it is its own practice area, but there's a lot of sub areas within it and going after just personal injury specific keywords like personal injury law, personal injury law firm personal injury attorney can be very dangerous. Yes, it can drive you good quality, but there's going to be a lot of junk that's be, going to be coming through. And it's just a matter of sifting through and having a really good, you know, filtration system to make sure that you're not wasting and you're not, you know, wasting as much on unprofitable keywords. So that's another thing to keep in mind because you might find out that personal injury specific keywords, I'm talking keywords with the, the phrase personal injury in it, is not going to be the most profitable for you versus very specific keyword types like car accident attorney, accident attorney, injury attorney, that type of thing is gonna be more specific. It's probably gonna cost you more because it's more specific and more competitors are going after that keyword. But um, I want really wanted to hit home on the fact that personal injury in itself is kind of a broad term and people think that they have a case that they're entitled to something but you're going to be getting a lot of junk. So how do you weed through it? I'm going to be talking a little bit more about that um, coming up. The next thing that I want to talk about is if you don't have a big budget, you're going to be a little fish in a big pond. Just in general, uh, it is, like I mentioned, a very, 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 very competitive. Um, and especially in big markets, there's lots of I know that there's a guy out here in Los Angeles spending two million a month on digital advertising, not just on PPC, but just on digital advertising in general. Um, and it's just, it's a dog eat dog world out there. So just keep that in mind. Um, this goes back to the whole go big or go home. You're going to be, uh, if you don't have a sufficient budget, you're going to be a little fish in a big pond. So just get ready for lots of competition, <laughs> especially in a big, uh, a big market. Next thing I want to talk about is keyword targeting and practice areas. I kind of already touched on, you know, the fact that there's a lot of sub uh, niches within the practice areas. What I want you to really think about when it comes to keyword targeting is how does your ideal customer search or how does your ideal client search? Um, if if they're going to be going after uh, searching for medical malpractice, if that's an area that you want to capture, um, make sure that those keywords are in there. And then also make sure that you are 
very, very, very careful about the match types that you are using because I've seen, especially with personal injury, phrase match is very dangerous. Phrase match will match you to competitors. Um, and if you don't have the budget to support um, matching to a specific competitor in your area and matching on their keywords, um, then I would not... I would be very careful about phrase match and going with keyword targeting, having a strong negative keyword um, approach is going to be important. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but really knowing and understanding the types of keywords, use the keyword Google Keyword Planner to identify which keywords are um, uh, most ideal for you and you can start testing. Every market's going to be very different, but you really want to hone it down. Like once you get a list and you start testing, you're going to probably be honing it down to maybe like 20% of that initial list um, into that bullseye, which are the main 20% of keywords that are, you know, driving the overall like 80% of your conversions. Um, so here I have here a bullseye because there's really, um, it's a really small area and if you can hit the bullseye, you're going to strike gold. But the key here is to try to aim as close to the bullseye as possible by being hyper specific and trying to, in my opinion, trying to stay as far away from broad match as possible. Um, phrase match is very dangerous unless you have a strong negative keyword strategy and a heavy use of exact match because of how expensive these keywords are. Next thing I want to talk about is a winning bid strategy. So within Google pay-per-click, there's a ton of different bid strategies here. There's smart bidding and then just like regular bidding. You really need to understand um, which ones are going to be the right fit at the right time. Um, it's interesting here. I, there's one here that's not mentioned, which is uh, manual CPC. And if you think that you're going to be able to sit here and manually control <laughs> your bids on a campaign like this, it's going to be very challenging. Um, I'm going to say that probably the best automated bid strategy um, is going to be uh, maximize conversions. Even if you don't have any conversion data, this kind of goes against some of the information that I've shared in this channel before. But... With personal injury in particular, it took me quite a bit of time when I started out to figure out what the right bid strategy uh, should be. Because I went from manual to enhance to max clicks to then maximize conversions, then maximize conversions with the target CPA, then maximize conversions, and then back to maximize conversions with the target CPA. And the thing is, one um, automated bid strategy might not work right out of the gate. So it's a matter of testing and then determining. But what I'll tell you is, you know, with maximized conversions uh, with a target CPA, that has worked the best for me um, over this time period that I've been running ads with personal injury. Um, I have mentioned on my channel that you should be waiting to get at least 30 conversions to switch to smart bidding. I'll say that with Google um, and personal injury, for some reason, any type of non-automated bid strategy doesn't really work that well. Um, and I think it's because there's so many other competitors that are being really aggressive using smart bidding strategy and letting the algorithm do its thing that if you're trying to uh, save pennies when it comes to personal injury by using more manual methods, it's going to be really, really challenging for you to even break through. So my tip is you know, try maximize conversions, try maximize conversion of the target CPA, but know that with maximize conversions, it is the most aggressive. If you do not have any bid constraints or a target CPA, it's going to spend really, really fast in the most aggressive way possible. So if you want to have some level of control, you might want to consider just doing maximize conversions with target CPA and put a, a bid limit um, on how much you're willing to spend as well as a target CPA for like, this is the most I'm willing to spend for a lead. I'm going to talk about some constraints and the challenges that I found with putting constraints on personal injury campaigns, because uh, Google doesn't like that in general. Uh, but I just, I wanted to mention what bid strategy I found to be the best. It might not work for you, but is definitely worth trying. This is what's worked really well for me um, and definitely potentially worth a try. 
Okay, so I talked about, cons uh, briefly touched on constraints. What I mean by constraints here is putting a bid limit, putting a very, very, very aggressive target CPA. Um, so saying, let's say, if your average cost per click in wherever you're at is $100, and then you have a target CPA of $100, it's Google's not really going to spend much because you're making it so hard for Google to convert off of every single click. Um, if your average cost per click is $100 and you're hoping to convert uh, a lead at $100, Google's not really going to give you priority. It's going to give priority to other guys in your area that are willing to be a lot more aggressive that have no constraints. Um, so that's another thing. Another thing that I found with Google with um, personal injury is putting bid limits. I mentioned if you want to have more control, so Google's not spending $800 a click, $1,000 a click. Um, you want to put constraint, uh, some level of constraint, whether it's a target CPA or a bid limit. But what I found with the bid limits is it doesn't want to spend. It'll take forever to get things going um, sometimes. So keep that in mind. When it comes to, I, especially in this type of industry, because there's so many competitors that are willing to spend thousands and thousands of dollars for leads, Google is going to give them priority over you, especially if you're trying to, you know, cut corners and, and save pennies here. Personal injury is definitely not an industry where you're going to be finding a lot of efficiencies. That's just what the market dictates at the end of the day. Please keep that in mind. Um, the other big question that you might be having if you are potentially looking into running or running uh, PPC for PI is where should I send my traffic? To a landing page or a homepage? Um, homepage meaning homepage on my website or a special dedicated landing page. Um, it just depends on how well each one is designed. Typically for me, I like sending traffic to a dedicated landing page. Some People might argue that, oh, some people, they might want more information, so we should be sending them to the homepage of the main website. I say, why don't we do an A-B test? Um, so if you're interested in learning how to do an A-B test, I'll go ahead and link a video in the description on how to set up Google Ads variations and test between your homepage and a landing page and see which one's driving more leads for you. Next up here, understanding your consumer, understanding your client, what are their pains? What are their fears? What do they want? Um, I hate to say this, um, but I think it's very obvious that a lot of people that have gone through a personal injury that are looking to uh, seek a personal injury lawyer are seeking some level of compensation. Uh, <laughs> you know, I have an attorney that I'm working with right now. He's like, well, we just want to help people. We don't want to be promoting, you know, that, you know, the, the average settlement amount. But let's just be real. Everyone that's looking for a personal injury attorney is looking for some level of compensation payout. They're not, you know, there's no other real reason. They're looking to seek uh, justice through, you know, some level of compensation through the insurance or whatever. Um, so keep that in mind because that's going to help you determine how to write your ads, how to um, write content for your website, because that's a really key thing, having empathy, uh, mentioning what the consumer wants, because if all you're mentioning is how great you are and how many awards you've won, um, it's, does, it's not really saying like what the customer really wants. And at the end of the day, what the client really wants is <laughs> is a payout and <laughs> compensation is going to be important. So mentioning lots of stats about your results, mentioning stats about what your average, um, what your average case value or average compensation. That's really, really key, especially if you have a really, really good average, uh, more than your competitors is definitely worth, you know, putting there. Um, and how much you've, you know, won and settled for, for clients. Having your uh, results is going to be key. Understanding the quality of phone calls here. So we all know that with, um, you know, Google Ads, we're trying to get phone calls. We're trying to get form submissions. But at the end of the day, what is the quality of them? Because we can be driving hundreds of them. But if everyone is is a a dad looking for, um, you know, justice because his kid got hit on the playground, but it wasn't a catastrophic injury, then you're just wasting your, your time and money, right? So at the end of the day, 
Um, looking for ways to understand the quality of the phone calls is going to be very important. And what I recommend typically here is um, to have a call tracking software, call rail or call tracking metrics. Those are my two go to's um, listening in on the phone calls to then determine the quality. And then once you determine that, then you can make changes on the messaging of your landing pages, your ads. Um, and even your forms uh, so that you can weed out the junk before it comes through. The next thing that I want to talk about are awareness channels. I kind of touched on this earlier, but if you are a personal injury attorney and you don't have awareness channels, and what I mean by awareness channels are billboards, um, I'm talking about Facebook ads, Instagram ads, TikTok, anything that like is with the goal of trying to catch eyeballs and get people to just be aware of you. Um, if you're not running those types of um, channels, um, you're not running that type of advertising, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to break into the market because your brand name isn't already out there. Um, I have a specific client right now who does no billboards and um, it's still challenging. We still are getting results, but the big guys that are spending millions uh, a year on on billboards I'm sure are definitely getting better results because their brand name is already out there there's that brand recognition they're on tv they're on the radio they're everywhere so that whenever someone is injured or looking for a personal injury attorney um, they're there and they come to top of mind so please keep that in mind it might be harder for you to break into the market it's not going to be impossible but it's still going to be uh, something that you, that might work against you if you're not doing any type of awareness channel. The next thing I want to talk about are compelling ads. So talk about uh, com uh, so having ads in here, whether it's you know ads that are emotional, mentioning something about what the consumer wants. So I talked about what um, your ideal customer or client is looking for. You want to make sure that that's in your ads. You want to make sure that you have images. You want to make sure that it's you're mentioning whatever you have that's different than other competitors. But what I'll say is with personal injury though, everyone's kind of all offering the same thing. No fee until you win, free consultation, talk to a lawyer. I know that with the bar, there's only so much you can say uh, and there are like some legal stipulations on um, you know what um, type of messaging that you can have in your ads. Um, so I understand that legal advertising is, is kind of tricky, but anything that you can do to stand apart from your competitors is going to be really important. Um, and also heavying up on mobile because most people are converting on mobile these days um, is going to be important as well. So that's just a bonus on top of the, the compelling ads. Um, the next thing I want to talk about are negative keywords. I, I put a little cartoon here of whack-a-mole because that's really what it is. With um, If you're only using exact match keywords, you don't really have to worry about this that much. But if you're using phrase and broad match, get ready for a fun game of whack-a-mole because there's going to be a lot of junk keywords coming through. You know, whether it's someone looking for a traffic ticket attorney, whether it's someone looking for a competitor that you, that a small competitor in your area. Google is trying to get as broad as possible, trying to get you to spend your money as fast as possible based off of the bid strategy that you have. And it's matching, it's going to be matching you to a lot of junk. So your search terms report is going to be your best friend. Um, and it's just really important to have a very strong negative keyword approach because it will be a game of whack-a-mole unless you're using all exact match. And even when you're using all exact match, there's still going to be a lot of junk. Well, let me correct that. There's still going to be junk, not a lot of junk. Um, there's going to be a lot of junk with phrase and broad. Let's talk about what type of cases strike gold. You really need to understand um, with personal injury what cases you want. Um, so if you don't really care about dog bite cases because they're not really like worth a lot to you, then I wouldn't even bother going after that. Car accidents are very common um, and uh, also the most competitive out of all personal injury types of cases. Um, sometimes you're going to be getting people reaching out to you uh, that are look, looking for an attorney, but they're not at fault. 
Um, so that's going to be important to to note and to weed out whether it's on the form or on the landing page. So really think about what cases drive gold because with every click being that expensive, which types of clicks are going to give you and yield you the best chance of a return on investment? Is it a car accident case? Is it a multiple car accident cases? Is it a wrongful death? Is it medical malpractice? Um, and also to note with medical malpractice, you'll probably be getting a lot of junk because people are going to be reaching out saying something like, oh, my doctor, he was really rude. Can I sue him for medical malpractice? <laughs> and you're probably laughing, but there's a lot of people that, again, think that they're entitled to something, even though it's not really truly a case. Um, so think about what cases strike gold and then go back to what I talked about earlier in this um, in this video where you know picking the right keywords is going to be key because picking the right keywords is going to lead you to striking gold if you have if you're targeting the right practice areas that are the most profitable for you. And the last thing that I want to touch on is your reputation matters. If you don't have a strong reputation through Google My Business or Yelp, um, especially on Google My Business, um, compared to your competitors, it's going to be hard for you to um, to not necessarily get results, but to win trust um, because there's probably other competitors in your area that have hundreds of thousands of five-star reviews that are doing their due diligence to um, engage with their clients and get them to you know leave them a strong testimonial. Um, so your reputation matters. It's not a make or break for PPC, but it's still very important. Your, your social proof, what people think about you online is really, 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 really key. Um, so if you found this video helpful, you made it all the way to the end, please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you got any type of value um, that you could apply to your campaigns, please, please, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel. Let me know if you want to see more personal injury lawyer content. I'm happy to show you a live reviews of landing pages, happy to help, you know, with diagnosing like keywords and, and looking at other areas within personal injury and how to drive more quality leads. Happy to do that. Just please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.